do you want to study nursing in Canada but don't know which schools to choose from? You came to the right place. In today's video, you are going to learn about some top 10 nursing schools you can apply to as an international student or domestic student. So stay tuned. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Barbara and on this channel we talk about education in Canada, how to apply to schools, basically everything that you need to know about Canada before you actually move here. Um, so if you are someone who is actually interested in this kind of content, definitely stay tuned and stay around and don't forget to subscribe, share and um, like and don't forget to turn on your post notifications so you don't miss any video from me, okay? So let's get into it. So like I said before, on today's episode, I'm going to talk about some top 10 um, schools, nursing schools you can actually apply to in Canada for both international and domestic students. There are going to be two sides to this video. I'm going to talk about the RN um, type of schools that you can apply to and then LPN type of schools that you can apply to. And also, I'm going to sound like a broken record, so I apologize for that in advance uh, because some of these schools, are very, they have a lot of similarities and um, a lot of the application requirements, admission requirements, all like very similar. So I'm going to repeat myself a lot. And most of these schools as well offer both the RN program and the LPN program. So number one on my list is Kiana College. Um, this school actually offers both LPN and then the RN program. So in order to be considered, you need to have a minimum of 75% average in five courses and with no grade less, lesser than 50%. Um, so the five courses include English, Math, Biology, um, another science course, it could be any whatever science course and the fifth one, the fifth one could be arts, social studies, anything, anyone, it's very optional and a wide variety you can choose from. So the tuition for Canadian students varies between $4,000 to $5,000 um, and, and tuition for international student is between the range of $12,000 to $13,000 um, per year. So the material on my list is University of Alberta, U of A. This school is actually located in Edmonton. The admission requirement for this school, actually you need to have like 85% or higher grades in five courses again to, in order to be considered. And it's also the same English, Math, Bio, another fourth, another fourth science course. And then the fifth one is as well optional. And uh, tuition for international students is twenty seven thousand dollars per year, and for and for domestic it's not eleven thousand twelve thousand dollars per year. Number three on my list is um, McEwen University, also located in um, Edmonton, Alberta. Admission requirement: you also need like an eighty five to a 90% average in five courses in order to actually apply. And these courses are all the same as my other two um, ones. So in order to be considered, obviously you have to like meet all the requirements. It's one of the best nursing schools in Canada or in Alberta. So that's why they have a really high academic average. So the tuition for international student is six to $7,000 per term for only nine credits. And the tuition for Canadian students varies from $2,000 to $3,000 per term for nine credits as well. So like I always say, I'm always going to leave the links down below in the description box. So always, always, always don't forget to check it out so you can do your further research and then know things for yourself, okay? It's it's always good when you do your own research so you can be like certify with whatever information you see or you get. So please do not forget to check out the description box. I will leave all the links, everything that you need to know, everything, I'm gonna make everything easy for you. So check it out, okay? And if you're liking this video so far, please leave a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. Now let's get back into the video. So number four is University of Ludbridge. It's also located in Ludbridge, um, Ledbridge Alberta. So admission requirements, you actually need like 75 to an 80% average in five courses in order to be considered no grades lower than 50 percent it has to be higher or more so it can be considered and once again the courses are the same english math bio the fourth science and another fifth optional course which could be social studies art music whatever anything that falls under humanities can um, be accepted so the tuition for canadian students varies from six to seven thousand dollars 
and the tuition for international students is fifteen thousand to sixteen thousand dollars per year. The University of Lethbridge actually offers both RN and LPN course, and it's also one of the great school for nursing courses. So number five is Mount Royal University. So this school is located in Calgary, and it offers only the RN program and also midwifery. So the admission requirements, as usual, five courses, but your grades have to be also in uh, the ranges of 75 to 80 to 85 or more in order to be considered. So again, the same courses, English, Math, Science, Biology, and another fifth course in order to be considered. So tuition for international students varies with between $22,000 to $24,000 and uh, tuition for Canadian students varies between eighteen dollars to $21,000 per year. So number six is University of Calgary, one of the best schools for nursing program as well. Um, so you need a minimum of 80 to 90% average in order to be considered and also as usual, five courses, the same courses over and over again. Like I said before, it all has a lot of similarities. All these schools have a lot of similar courses requirements. So, yeah, just make sure you do your very good research before you can actually proceed with all this. Tuition and fees for University of Calgary was actually very complicated and very confusing to find. So I'm actually going to um, show you the website. I couldn't specifically choose the right one. It was like all over the place. So I would urge you to actually click on the link. I'm also going to leave it on the screen so you can check it and then you can go from there. So now let's get to the LPN type of schools. So number seven on my list, Northwest College, which is located in Edmonton, Alberta. It's one of the best schools for LPN course. And the admission requirement for this school is English, Math and Biology. Only these three types. And for international students, they might ask you for a special English test, the IELT test, for all for any of the schools that I have mentioned. So when you go to the school website, make sure you find the international page and then go to the admission requirements. I know every school has like a special uh, uh, requirement for both Canadian and international. So find whichever one applies to you and whatever the school is asking for you provide so the tuition fee for um northwest college for canadian students it varies from eleven thousand to twelve thousand dollars the the whole course this is not like per year what it's for the whole course and the tuition for international students varies from thirty to forty thousand the throughout the whole course as well so number eight is red deer college this school actually offers both the RN and the LPN program. And um, with the RN program, it's in connection or it's affiliated with U of A RN program. So basically what this means is when you apply to Radio College, you are automatically considered as U of A student. And when you are done with your education, you get um, your degree as a U of A student. You are recognized as a U of A student. So the fees and um, so the fees and admission requirements is basically the same actually if you go to their website they will just link you directly to the um, U of A website yeah. so, so number nine is Bow Valley College this is actually located in Calgary and uh, to be considered you obviously need to have uh, a minimum of 70% um, to 80% average in um, three courses which is English, Math and Biology so the teaching for both Valley College for Canadian students ranges from eleven to twelve thousand the whole course, and the teaching for international students for both Valley College ranges from twenty four to twenty five thousand dollars the whole course. So I just wanted to point this out. RN programs are very competitive and very hard to get in compared to LPN programs. So I know some of you are going to be confused between the LPN and the RN. So basically, the RN is four years of education. While the LPN is two years of education, I'm actually going to go in depth. I'm going to make a new video on uh, comparing both LPN and RN studies and which one you can actually apply to or which one you should apply to. So stay tuned for my next video, okay? So number 10, the last is Northern Lake College. It's actually located in Slave Lake and this is actually only for LPN program um, so in order to be considered obviously your average have to be within 70 to 80 percent 
in those three courses that, that I've been mentioning over and over, English, Math and Bio, or if you have Anatomy or Physiology, or if you want to transfer credits from other schools, if only it's transferable, obviously you can transfer them. So the teaching for, for Canadian students ranges from seven to eight thousand dollars per year, and and tuition for international students ranges from ten to fifteen thousand or more per year. So like I'm always gonna say this, I am not a representative. I am not an educational agent. Um, I don't work with Canadian immigration. I'm only speaking based of my research, my knowledge, and of my experience. Also of experiences of my friends and others. So please, I cannot help you come to Canada. That is not my job. I just created this whole channel to like actually give you like a heads up or like um, show you the step by step process on how to uh, apply to schools in Canada and ways you can actually apply to schools. Maybe in the future I'm planning on having like my own agency, hopefully. Um, so yeah, but for now I'm only giving you all this information based on my knowledge and my um, experiences. And once again, for my international student, if you are actually interested in going to any of these schools, please, please, please make sure you do a very good research ask questions seek help from agencies not just any agency that doesn't have any credibility search for schools you can do this for by yourself if you have any questions you can always ask you can always leave me a message i'm always gonna reply if you want me to make a video on engineering like some schools for engineering accounting public relations just let me know just hit me up i'm gonna do it for you why not right <laughs> Anyway, don't forget to check out my other videos on how to apply to schools in Canada. If you are very confused on how to apply them, I go in depth on how to do it. Uh, and my scholarship videos on the top 10 scholarships you can apply to as an international student. So check out all these videos and make the right decision for yourself, guys. I hope this video was very helpful to you. I hope um, you actually learned something from it. And I hope you go ahead and actually click on the links. And um, thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.